Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your monthly read. And this will be for the sign of Pisces. Um, Pisces, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I'm truly grateful to have you on board. Um, if you are interested in doing any of the classes, personal readings, uh, donations, everything is in the box below. Please make sure you give me a thumbs up if the reading resonates to help me grow the channel. Do remember that the readings are only general. They are not um, They are not a personal reading. Somebody's walking away from a marriage here or a relationship, long-term relationship. Um, all righty. I think that's it. I'm using the Connolly Tarot here. Something's going on here, Pisces. Some of you are walking away from something. It's just not working out. I feel like you're putting a lot of effort into something, but it's just not going in the direction you wanted it to. I think you saw lots of potential, but it's just not working. Let's have a look. All right, so we have the Ten of Swords coming out. So the Ten of Swords is about closing out some sort of energy or past energy here. It can mean the end of a cycle, betrayal, end of a relationship, end of a situation, but something here is coming to a close. And um, we do have the Nine of Wands behind here. And this is what I said to you, I felt in the beginning, it's like you've been putting so much effort into something, but it's not been going anywhere. And I feel like you've been hurt and hurt and hurt and it's like you've given up. It's just not working. Um, the hanged man's here. So I think you're starting to see this from a different perspective now. Perhaps you kept putting the effort in thinking it was the right thing to do. But I feel like here it's like you're having a bit of an awakening around what you really need to do rather than staying and getting hurt all the time. Um, for some of you, this could be leaving uh, Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. For others of you, this could be a partner, um, but you're definitely moving away from someone and taking a leap of faith. I think you've put in everything you possibly could, um, whatever this situation is. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship. It could be a job, but whatever you've been doing here, it's like you've been investing, 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 and nothing is coming from it. And you are feeling beaten up, tired, exhausted, whatever. You cannot do it anymore. It's done. Oh, okay, so we've got Queen of Pentacles here as well. So we're talking husband and wife for some of you. Um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Somebody here has, um, this could be the person you're dealing with, but I feel like it might be your energy here because you've just invested and invested and invested in something. And it's like you've just got nothing back and you're feeling really like blah about the whole thing now. Uh and sometimes we just have to learn to, you know, be able to say that's it, it's done. And there's no point in keep sort of beating this up. Yeah, I feel that you've had a, a relationship where there's been a lack of give and take. Um, we do have the Ten of Cups here. This is quite interesting. All right, and the Eight of Swords. So that beautiful energy of going backwards and forwards here. This is about something that you thought had a lot of potential. It's, and it may have started that way. You may have met someone that was putting in a lot to start with, but maybe they sort of backed off on the energy because what's happened here is it's like, it's like what started off is nothing like it is now. So it was like a great deal of happiness, seeing joy, and now all you see is the pain. And like the energy in the beginning, you're going backwards and forwards here, trying to do things differently or trying to invest in Something that is really not giving you back what you're putting in. Flogging a dead horse. If the horse is dead, get off. So I'm getting all those things thrown at me now. All right, let's keep going. So there's some sort of decision that needs to be made here. I feel that you still really love this person. I feel you have a great deal of love for this person and you still would like to build this. But you're starting to realise here that the other person is not really investing what they should wow okay so we have the wheel of fortune see going round and round and round and down the rabbit hole three of cups coming through here you could be dealing with someone who's already investing in something else 
You could be dealing with someone who is looking outside of the relationship for what they're not finding within. And maybe that's what's happening. Maybe you're investing in the relationship, but the person that you're dealing with is looking externally. So it's like you're investing in something when someone's not looking back at you. And you're making a decision. You may, you may even know that this person is looking outside of this relationship. You may already know. They may have already made you feel that something's going on here. Something dicey, dodgy is going on here. Because I see you investing in something, but I see them looking or investing in something else. And I think that's why they're not investing with you. Okay, let's keep going. All right, so we have the Queen of Cups here, which could be you, Pisces. We do have the card of the lovers. Maybe you're the one who wants to invest in something else. We do flip-flop, Knight of Wands, yep. Somebody may have already, somebody may have already flown the coop to some degree here. Um... I feel like someone's looking outside of the relationship for their happiness, but they're trying to make the decision on whether to keep investing in the relationship or whether to move on. Um, I feel that someone's not getting the satisfaction, not getting the, the happiness from this situation that they expected. And I feel that they keep investing in this situation, trying to get it to take off because they can see the potential of it. But somebody here is just moving outside. They're going outside here. They may have already had a fling here with this Knight of Wands. If they haven't had a fling, it's very possible that they could be already looking outside. Now, if you're in a happy relationship, I am not talking about you. I am talking about someone who is in a relationship where the other party seems very disinterested and not invested in this situation. Very clear difference. I'm not talking about somebody who's mucking up on somebody that's in a happy situation. This is somebody here who's very unhappy with where they're at. Um, and they're trying to fix what they've got at home. But I feel like it's sort of gone past its use by date now. It's not bringing any happiness to one person here in, in because I think the other person's already checked out. Let's just have a look. Okay, so I've got the Ten of Swords, which does signify betrayal and the end of something. The Nine of Wands says to me, somebody feels very beaten up in this relationship. They've started to see that it's not, it's just not going anywhere. I feel like with the King of Pentacles here, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, but this King of Pentacles is having a look at this fool. And I think he's ready to jump out of the relationship here. Um, it feels to me like somebody has been investing perhaps for a long time where the other person, and I think that you've had this realisation, if this is you, that the other person is um, not investing in the relationship anymore. And I feel that although this person um, has a very, either a long-term relationship with you, or a relationship that could have been around for a long time but has maybe worn out its welcome, gone past its use by date here. And I feel like somebody is just not putting in the energy anymore. No, they want to be single. So you've got someone here who wants to walk away from a situation they don't want to invest anymore. But I think you're starting to realise that you will keep putting into something that's just not giving back. And sometimes we have to have that realization that um you know you can't make somebody love you you can't make somebody be happy it's time to move if you're putting all your energy in and nothing's happening then it's time to go we do have the card of the vision quest here okay so it says find clarity by spending time alone in nature if you live in a city, go for walks in a park. If you live in the country, make sure that you spend time outside in contemplation. Get off the couch, get away from your desk, go outside. Spirit helps those who help themselves. So set your intention and ask nature for a guiding vision for your life. 
Spirit has been trying to contact you but received no answer. You are too busy with your life and there's too much noise inside your head. Do not miss the call again. Make room for quiet time this evening. Allow yourself to become bored for a little while and you'll be able to hear the important messages trying to get through. I actually think you've already heard those messages. I think Spirit is telling you that it's time to time to pack up your old kit bag and get going. Have a great month. <laughs>